Hey, baby. I think it's time that you and I have a talk. Come on, sit down. <laughs> Come on, sit down with me. I want to... Baby, I'm being serious right now. Mi amor. I'm being serious right now. Sit your pretty ass down. Now that's my girl. So, thing is, right? You and I, we've been, we've been dating for... We've been dating for... Uh, I think it's like six years now. A little less than six years. But... Thing is, I, um... This is something that I've I had on my mind for quite some time now. For the past... For the past year or so... And I've wanted to bring it up and I wanted to speak to you about it for quite some time. And I just don't know how to bring it up. And I've tried it. Like, God knows I've tried. I've, I've given this so much thought. I've, I've worried that what something like this can do to both of us, like... Like for the past 60 <laughs> For the past 6 years I've had you in my life. You've been a part of my life in every aspect, you know. From the moment I wake up, you're the first thing I have on my mind. From the moment I close my eyes, you're the last thing I remember. And truth be told, I don't know what it would be like if you weren't there. And that thought scares me, you know? But something just hasn't been settling right with me. And... God, why do I... Why am I finding it so hard to bring this up? Why am I finding it so hard to talk about this? Jesus. I, um... Uh, calm down, calm down, you've got this, buddy. We've rehearsed this time and time again. We've spent days, hours, weeks, months talking about this to ourselves. We've had this discussion, we've had... Ah, ha, ha, ha. This is what I mean, this is, this is, this is what you do to me, you... You make me feel things. You make me... Ah. What I'm trying to say... Is that... For the past 60 years... You have been by my side... While... I was nothing. While I was no one. While I had nothing. And... You've been with me... Long enough to see me build a career for myself. You've been with me long enough to see me build a life for myself. And not just for myself, but for yourself as well. You've built your own career outside of me. And we've built this house together. Well, we didn't build it, we bought it. But still, that was a huge moment in our lives. And... You've genuinely made me a better person. And every day I've spent thanking God that I have you in my life. And then I don't want to lose you. Truth is, I adore you. I love you. And when push comes to shove... I don't think I will ever feel this way about anyone ever again. 
you have been and you will always be the love of my life. And that's why, hold on, let me stand up for a bit. I... God, I had this speech planned out, you know. I have it, I have it here, I have it right here, hold on. Hello there, my love. I have found myself in a position where God has blessed me with the most beautiful, the most caring, the most loving, the most accepting, the most brilliant woman on this planet. I found myself in a position where I've spent the last six years of my life living the best years of my life. And today, I read somewhere, you don't know when the good times are until the good times end. And that's when I took the time out and I sat down and I started thinking about it and I realized that my time with you has been the best time of my life, has been the greatest time of my life. I am living the best years. And truth is, I don't want the best years to end. So I would like to continue this. And I'd like to take the next step in our relationship. So, you've been the love of my life. You've been the woman that has changed it. You've been the woman that has changed me. You've been the woman that has made my life better. But now I'm asking, will you be the woman that I marry? And with this ring, I would like to know officially, will you marry me? Yeah? Yeah? You mean it? <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you so much. Say it again. Say it again. Say it fully. Yes, you will marry me. Say it again, baby. I love you. I love you. I love you so much. I promise you, from this day onwards, I will continue to be the best man that I can for you and our future children. I'll be a good father, a good husband, a good man. I love you to the moon and back. To the stars and beyond. I love you. Forever. Always. Well, well, well. I... <laughs> I kind of had... Like a whole return speech planned in the back of my head i was like man it would be so cool if i was like well 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 hello there and it's a pleasure to be back or if it was something like hey there baby girl guess who's home you know 
Or if it was something cheesy like that, like... Hola, mi amor. ¿Cómo estás? Hmm? But sitting down here actually recording this and it's like... Uh, sorry, I'm fighting back coughs right now. <coughs> You can't tell, but I just muted so I can cough. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'll edit the the little gap in between, but knowing me, I might leave that in just for it to be funny for context. Hold on, I might do it again. Okay, so when I tell people I'm very sickly, they don't really comprehend just how sickly I am. Like, this is my second time falling ill within the same month. Yeah, it's crazy. But enough about that. I have genuinely missed you all. I'm officially back today. I'm guessing it's Monday at the moment, right? Yeah. So it's Monday when you guys are listening to this. I'll be back to my daily videos. I'm done with teaching. That in its own right was a journey. Um, there's a reason why I don't like teaching kids. And... It's not because I dislike kids, and the opposite. I do like kids. I work very well with kids. I just don't like raising my voice, nor do I like loud places, and both of those things kind of tie into kids. Especially kids whose parents discipline them by raising their voice. Kind of puts you in a position where if they don't respect you, then you're in a position where you need to start demanding respect. And at that point, you need to start raising your voice. That's funny enough to say, like, I told one of my friends that I was teaching. And he was like, you, teaching, with your voice. How does that work? And I'm like, you know what? Fuck you. <laughs> but yeah, I'm officially back. I want to thank everybody who has continued to give me support while I was away. I was half expecting for my channel to die. I was like a month without posting or doing anything. Oh, my account is dead. And then when I came back onto my account, and I've been keeping tabs on it, I was like, you know, everything has kind of evened out. <laughs> You know, like, holy shit, you guys have been supporting and continuing to support me non-stop for this month. It's been, it's been genuinely reassuring. And I thank you all for that. Um, as you've seen earlier, I coughed really badly within those two pauses I took. So I'm not going to push this outro out too long. I just want to say a massive thank you for all of the support you've given me while I was away. And just to let you guys know that I'm I'm back. I'm fully back and I'm ready to go again. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the audio. Remember to take care of yourselves. Remember to leave a comment and a like down below. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be the other way around. But hey, it's whatever. Oh, as for your subscription, I'll be playing you in a friendly game of rock, paper, scissors. The rules are simple. I will rock, paper, scissors, and then shoot up one shoot. I'll announce what I went, and if I've won, you know, obligated to subscribe to me. If I've lost, you know, obligated to go down in the comment section and let me know. Let's go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Today I went scissors. That doesn't mean if you went paper, you just lost, but if you went rock, you just won. Alright, guys, remember to eat, remember to keep hydrated. Remember, I'm proud of you. Remember, you all are special and amazing in your own unique ways. So keep your head up, keep smiling, and keep pushing forward. I love you guys. Bye-bye.